All right, maybe coming here wasn't such a great idea. Is anybody else getting a little freaked out by all these scary stories? Yeah, even my spine is tingling. You guys, I'm scared. You remember that movie, The Blob? What if The Blob? Let's get out of here. Oh, damn it! It's locked! Oh, my God! Somebody must have locked us in! We're gonna die in here! Sorry, guys. Somebody emailed me a video of a sheep screaming. It was him! It was the hook-handed killer! He locked us in! All the windows have bars on them. I think the only way out of here is through this duck system. Guys, do the words dead by dawn scrawled in feces over there mean we're in trouble? Did you do it? I did. Then no. Where the hell are we? I heard something. Is, is someone else here? Oh, my God, it's Hook Hand. He's coming for us. Damn it, why can't I get any reception? Because we're in a basement in the middle of nowhere. Besides, if cell phones worked, every movie would be two minutes long. Like an affair to remember. Darling, I was running to the Empire State Building to see you, but I got hit by a car. No wonder you were late. I'll be right down. Are you okay? I think I may be paralyzed. I'm sorry, there's nobody here by that name. Those footsteps are getting closer. Those aren't footsteps. It's an old building. Just relax. Besides, I can see an exit door right there. Where? Right there, behind that guy with the hook. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's four of us and one of him. Yeah, let's get him! Um, Hook Hand's name is Albert, and he's dressed like a janitor. Uh, I've been trying to help you. I'm the caretaker here. Wait, you work here? But you have a Hook Hand. I was a soldier. I lost my hand saving six men in Korea. Oh, God, he's a war hero. Oh. He's dead. What have we done? We killed an innocent man. Well, if this doesn't justify a McFlurry, nothing does. Oh, my God, we killed an innocent man. No, we, we got to report this. We got to turn ourselves in. No way. If we do that, we'll all go to jail. And I'm a cop. Do you know what they do to cops in jail? Hey, man, when you were a cop, did they, did they let you use the siren? Yeah, it's part of the job. That's so cool. Hey, hey, when you were a cop, when you were going to a crime scene, did you go chung chung like law and order? No, that would be very unprofessional. All right, all right. Oh, hey, check it out, man. When you were a cop, did you ever, you know, use your handcuffs when you were getting kinky with your girl? No, it's city property, so you're not really supposed to take those home. Oh, for sure, for sure. Oh, hey, by the way, a bunch of us are going to kill you in the shower later. Okay, so we're all on the same page, right? We bury the body, we never speak of this again. Deal. Got it. Yeah. Wow, that was exhausting. Wait a minute, is, is that is that his car? <laughs> oh crap, it's still alive! It does not feel like a Wednesday. Peter, I'm glad you're up. I need to talk to you about something. I know what you did last night. You do? 
How could you do something so heinous? Last night, you left your dirty dishes in the sink. It's disgusting. So I did half, and I left the other half for you. Oh, forget it. You'll just do it wrong. I'll wash it myself. Why don't you just go in the other room and relax? I'll call you when breakfast is ready. Okay. Oh, my God. Peter, come look at the newspaper. Janitor dead. <gasps> what? No! Right here, my college roommate, Jan Itta. She passed away yesterday. Are, are we really doing this? Because I didn't get, like, any sleep last night. What are you freaking out about? You didn't even know her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're, you're right. You're right. You and the guys killed and buried a man? Yeah, I knew you'd find out. Find out what? I just got David Sedaris's new book, You and the Guys Killed and Buried a Man. Okay, I am really on edge, and this thing we're doing, I'm not happy about it, and that's a very odd title for a humorous book. Peter, you're acting very weird. Just go in the other room. I don't want to go in the other room. I want to stay here and see what you're seeing, because you're saying things that I think are something totally different than what they are. Peter, you're going to have a heart attack. I won't say anything. I'll let you relax. They found a body of a war hero down by the old asylum. Okay, that has to be something. Ah, uh, sorry, Peter. I'm just singing along with this old John Mellencamp song. They went up there to write a movie. Peter Quagmire, Cleveland, and Joe. Killed the old janitor, wall hero. Just why, we'll never know. I don't remember this one. Guess it's never been in a car commercial. In a truck that's built, Dodge Tough. Oh, yeah, no, I know this one. Guys, I'm kind of freaking out about killing that guy. Anybody else have a hard time sleeping? No, but there's an old John Mellencamp song you're not going to believe. Wait, wait, what's all this stuff about you guys killing someone? Last night at the asylum, we killed that war hero. What? 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 You, you really killed someone? <laughs> Holy moly, I don't think I want to hear this. Quagmire, you were there with us. You're so weird. Last night I was in St. Louis. I even have a picture. See that? That's yesterday's date on that newspaper. On a Quahog informant? They sell the Quahog informant in St. Louis? Well, probably, but good luck with that whole you three and not me killed a guy thing. <laughs> Damn it, that bastard is bailing on us. He's a worse accomplice than Johnny Windchimes. Hey! Shh! Sorry, it's my chimes! I hate to frame you like this, Quagmire, but I gotta. I can't go to jail. They'll razz me good on account of my belly. Cleveland? What are you doing here? What are you both doing here? Joe? What the hell? You backstabbers. What the hell's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Cleveland's trying to frame me. He's got my miniature portraits of cool guys. Peter, those are baseball cards. Whatever, he's using it to frame me for murder. Well, I'm not the only one. Joe's got my Sports Illustrated football phone. He was using this as his main phone. It is a mess over there. Look at all you pathetic people bringing stuff to frame each other. You're supposed to be friends. Hey, that's my shovel. Damn right. That's how smart I am. I only had to bring one thing. This way I can dig the hole and just throw this in. But once you throw it in there, how are you going to get the dirt back on top? Give me your shovel. You're going to have to kill me first. Not with my shovel. That's brand new. Give me back my rattly plastic phone. Wait, 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 guys. Guys. What? Don't you see? This... This is a horror movie. It doesn't feel like a Wednesday. Boy, that sucked. Yeah, I guess writing a movie isn't as easy as Joseph Gordon-Levitt makes it look. Hey, at least we gave it a shot. I just feel bad we killed an innocent man. Well, don't feel too bad. Look at that. Oh, my God. Wow, that's a relief. We may have actually made this town a better place. Yeah, what a monster. But at least now he's gone forever. <laughs> 